grounds there too. I, I okay. forgot. Thanks for reminding me about that. Okay, <laughs> go right ahead. <laughs> oh, okay. But anyway, as I say, it should be a very good time, and I'm and I personally am looking forward to being oh, there. Sure. In terms of your question, as I say, it, it actually has a lot of pieces, and let me, let me take the easiest piece first, which is how much time do you have? Mm -hmm. Okay. In Massachusetts, for personal injury claims, there is a three-year statute of limitations. Uh, so you have three years to, to settle the case or file a lawsuit. Mm -hmm. Now, once you file a lawsuit, then it's however much time the court takes. So if you wait two years, 364 days to file a lawsuit, you have, you're within your three years, and you know, and if the court takes a year, that's not a problem. Okay. In terms of the other part, when in case, and that was, um, you know, that's a little bit more of an uncomfortable question as you're as you're asking about, basically, what to do when you have a lawyer who's not doing his job. Okay. And and as it turns out, you know, one of the reasons that I that I know so much about clients who haven't done the right things, mm. clients who haven't <clears throat> gone, taken their card to the registered shop or haven't seen the, the, the right doctors or, or whatever, is because so many of those cases leave their lawyer and come to me later. Uh, and, and actually we receive a, a lot of transfers in the office um, like that. I mean, look, your lawyer works for you. Okay, lawyers can forget that sometimes, but but I will you know I tell my staff all the time you know clients are revenue you're overhead don't yeah. fight with be nice to the clients because you're never going to want to fight with them if it gets to me. Um, if your lawyer's not working for you, if your lawyer's not won't meet with you, won't talk to you, doesn't seem to be doing his job, you absolutely have a right to get a new one. And you have that right at any time in the process. What I would say is, you know, it, it's always a good idea to speak to the lawyer, or at least try to. You know, in my office, my clients just walk in. You know, I, I, I learned a, a very long time ago that, that it, making appointments really doesn't work so well. I encourage people to make appointments to see me. You know. Anybody who answers the telephone in my office can make somebody an appointment to see me. But I'm very comfortable with the idea of people just walking in. Uh, mm -hmm. Because in this community, that's, for better or worse, that's how it works. And, and I've adopted to it. And, and frankly, I like it. Um, when my last job before I went out on my own was one of those firms that had, it had uh, four lawyers and eight offices. Mm -hmm. And seven of the offices were, were just a room with a desk in it. And what would happen is I'd go to the main office, the secretary had packed my briefcase, and I'd grab it, I'd run off to, the, to, the, um, you know, to one of the satellite offices. And frankly, I didn't know who I was gonna see until I got there. And, and I liked that because I found it, it kind of kept me on my toes. Mm -hmm. You know, if you never know when you're gonna see a client, then you have to be ready to see all your clients on any given day. Okay, let me stop you at this point. I, I, I just sure. want to translate the, the, the most important part okay. of my question, that, uh, the, the, the answer that you gave me. So, Khyong uh, Krona Chong Chum Riyap Tha Peel Valiya Da Yung Aad Padang Baan Ku Miyan Da Yak Peel Bay Chanam Ba Nau Khyong Kum Long Peel Bay Chanam Nung Yung Aad Padang Nau Khyong ពីបីឆ្នាំហើយបើសិនជាមេធាវីរបស់យើងមិនអាចធ្វើការបានឡអយើងក្នុងកំឡុងពេលបីឆ្នាំហ្នឹងយើងអាចផ្ដូរទ
and want to see me. The secretary would make them an appointment a month, two months out. Two months out. And they did that for two reasons. Uh, number one, they wanted to communicate this idea that even though I was just this kid out of law school, I was such a big and important lawyer that if you wanted to see me, you had to wait two months mm. because I'm that busy and that important uh, kind of a thing. The other reason they pushed it two months out would be, and this was something they did for every lawyer in the firm, mm. was to give the lawyer a chance to do something before the client showed up in the office. Uh, kind of a thing, and, and these are you know, and these are kind of the games the games people play, um, and and they and there's no justification for it, and so yes, I have lots of people who come to my office, and their case is a year old, sometimes much older, mm -hmm. uh, two years old, but a year old, they haven't heard from their lawyer in months. Um, a lot of them have never actually met their lawyer, which is something I've never understood. You know, they meet. You know, they, they, I don't know who yeah, they're meeting, yeah, but, uh, weird, right? I, you know, because I'll see, I have very few cases that, have, that start to finish. I've seen my clients less than six times, you know, uh, very few cases. And in the early going, you know, in the early going, we see them a lot uh, just to make sure that, uh, that everything is, is going right. You know, later on, we see them less frequently. Certainly, we have a lot of conversations at settlement time, mm -hmm. uh, kind of a thing. Um, okay. and, and so, no, I don't understand that. And, and again, my clients come to see me all the time. Uh -huh. So I really don't understand. But, okay, but, but, but uh, be there, that as it may. There, oh. uh, I got to stop you. There's a phone call. Hello? Hello, Susan Day? Hello, Susan Day? บ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ่าสมจุนนอมวยบ
Um, and a lot of them go not particularly gracefully. Uh, a lot have gotten into um, a lot have gotten into trouble. A lot have kind of fled town, unloved, uh, kind of a thing. You know, the fact that you know, I would I would say when you when you're shopping around, I mean, the fact that I've been here for 25 years, have been you know probably the biggest in town, and at least within this community, uh, for 25 years, I think is is a pretty good. A pretty good indication that I'm probably doing something right, that that I'm probably playing fair with my clients, mm -hmm. that I'm that I probably know what I'm doing, uh, that I'm probably getting decent results. You do. You mentioned you know these various service agencies and whatnot that that front for lawyers, and and I'm glad you raised that issue because these these guys are a problem. Uh, these guys are a real problem because somehow some way. You know they're they're in the business mm -hmm. somehow, some way. They're making money off of this, so somehow, some way, they have a money incentive to get you to their guy and away from um, the people who aren't paying them, uh, such as me. Um, but but almost by definition, they're taking you to places that are no good. Okay, because in other words, if you could live off your own reputation, you don't need these guys. Your own reputation, so, so, your own so reputation will carry the day for me, you. Let me cut you. So these guys work as a middleman, right, and, and for the lawyer. Correct. So, so they they bring clients to lawyer to to the lawyer. Right. Which which by the way is generally speaking unlawful. Okay, it's something the lawyer is not allowed to do. So right off the what, bat, you know you've got somebody what, what, who's what no if, good. Uh, uh, what about if if the uh, the clients who don't speak English and they they feel comfortable talking to those guys, and then uh, would it be would it I, be good for them? I understand, you know, how these guys manage to keep themselves in business, and I understand their practices, but you know. The caller mentioned there are a lot of lawyers, and there are, and a number of us have people who speak Khmer. In my office, I have five Khmer speakers, including my wife, including my wife. Okay, but I have, um, you know, I have four legal assistants, three of whom work on work on nothing but car accidents. Uh, the other one works on immigration and bankruptcy, but 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 three girls who work on nothing but car accidents. Uh, who are all Cambodian and all speak Khmer. You know, I, I think, in, at least in my office, that I that I have found that that middle path, where on the you know where look a lawyer is a is a bridge from the world that normal people live in, okay, to the world of insurance companies or courts and juries or government or or whatever you know kind of legal entity we're we're dealing with. You know, a, a lawyer. A lawyer is that bridge from the normal person's world to to this strange world of, well, in the case of car accidents, a strange world of insurance companies and, if need be, of the courts. What you have said is now there's a second bridge that needs to be built. You know, which is between um, you know the Khmer community, okay, the the um, Cambodian American community. And then the law office, okay. Well, in in my office, we we've built that bridge. You know, as I said, five Khmer speakers. You 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 come into into my my office. I mean, it's decorated um, appropriately, uh, kind of a thing. Um, you know, I you know I myself, um, I you know I I don't speak Khmer. Um, I. I you it's learn. Always, it was it was always my worst subject in school, <laughs> kind of a thing. But you know, but I know, you know, but I know, but I know the important words. You know, mm -hmm. chukabal, chuka. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> okay. Those every, are every, technical every, words. Every time, you know, every time I ask a, a, a client how they're feeling, you know, after four or six weeks after an mm -hmm. accident, and they say tick tick, I immediately stop them, <laughs> you know, kind of a thing, and okay. explain that a little bit doesn't mean the same thing in English as it does in Khmer. Yeah. That these are that these are that that these words that it's 
a bad translation uh, kind of a thing and, and, and that when you say it to an insurance company or to a doctor, it comes back wrong uh, kind of a thing. I, that There's a distinction between I'm getting better and I'm better or it only hurts a little bit because it doesn't hurt as bad as it did. Okay, I got to uh, cut you right there and uh, we, we're going to go to break.